Hey guys, welcome to Life with Tina B. I'm Tina and today we are talking about and I want to introduce you to my new hair. Yes, we do. So, as you can see, a lot less. Now, I am feeling uh, fabulous, but at the same time, I did do a little bit of struggling. So, guys, if you are new here, um, before we get started with all of the, the stuff I'm going to tell you, I just wanted to say welcome. And please, if you like the video, think about liking and subscribing. I'd love for you to stick around. And also, if you're returning, welcome back. And I'm so glad that you came back. And leave a comment below. Let me know what you think of the new hair. And uh, if you don't like it, please do be kind, though. And uh, let's get on with the video. I'm feeling awkward. Yes, I am. I am having a little bit of trouble getting used to seeing myself. I, I love it. Um, not the first time I've had short hair, like I said. But when you're used to seeing uh, yourself a certain way, then you're different. It takes a little bit of getting used to. And also, too, yesterday um, I, I had something happen that I don't know if you guys have ever had happen to you, but I was kind of freaked out by it. And I don't, I've been trying to think of how I can explain it. So, like, I had short hair before for a lot of years. And then um, I grew my hair back in because of literally a quick conversation my husband and I had had about, you know, him having only seen pictures of me with long hair when I was young, but he had never actually like seen, seen it. And I said, well, I'll tell you what, I think at the time I was like 44 or something. It was in my early forties. And I said, um, I'll grow it in for you, but understand by the time I'm 50, it's off. Like I don't want to be dealing with it. Cause I had this whole thing in my head that when I hit 50, this is the image I wanted, okay? Like, I, I didn't want to be coloring my hair. I didn't want super long hair. Like, I don't mind having, like, a bit, like, just for cute, but I don't want, like, long flowing locks. I've, I've been there. And that's me, okay? Like, if, if you're over 50 and you have long hair, rock it, okay? But for me, it wasn't what I wanted. So anyway, the thing that was surprising was that along with growing my hair out, I, that was also the point when I dropped all my weight. So I grew this hair and then my body got smaller. And that's wonderful because, you know, I grew my hair out and I got healthy because when I was overweight, for those of you that don't know, um, you know, heart attack, yada, yada, health issues. Okay. So I had to get healthy. So I did all that. What I didn't expect was there was an attachment to having short hair and the woman that I used to be, okay? The one that didn't take care of herself. And then yesterday I had something happen when I looked in the mirror that I didn't have happened for a long time. And that was initially when I had first got healthy, I had a lot of problems with body dysmorphia. And it happened again yesterday. And it hadn't happened in a very long time. And I was, it took something that 
I was being rather cavalier about like, yeah, I'm gonna cut my hair. And it wasn't a big deal to like, oh my gosh, I've got short hair again. Now I'm gonna put all my weight back on. I'm gonna have another heart attack and maybe this time I'm gonna die because I'm older. This all came from a haircut. Hit me like a ton of bricks. Was not expecting it wasn't even in the realm of that thought process at all led to me eating a whole bag of popcorn and feeling like crap after by the way and um, you guys are going to be like popcorn that's your sin listen <laughs> when you're keto <laughs> it does you don't do that okay like you don't feel good after that so um and then i i really had to sit back and say okay you know what this is ridiculous what are you doing so i i really had some soul searching to do yesterday and and come to realize that maybe what i thought i was over i'm really not you know and it's really strange because like I got ready to do this video and I was looking in the mirror and I'm like, I, I was putting my makeup on and I'm like, oh my God, like, I look so cute, you know, like not to be conceited, but I feel good about myself today and I feel good about who I see in the mirror today. But for the life of me, I cannot figure out what happened yesterday. It's just so weird that like, I don't even have the same haircut that I had, but there's something that just clicked when about having the short hair and it just brought me back to that very insecure lady that I've worked so hard to comfort and and grow you know what I mean it was just bizarre but the good thing is that I like it <laughs> I think my hair being textured it's a lot and it tends to steal the show so I feel like when it's shorter it's an accessory and I get to be the star of the show which I think is always better and um, I feel like for the point I'm at in life this is kind of the finishing touch that I was maybe looking for and maybe what happened yesterday maybe that was just you know, saying goodbye to, to that lady that I used to be. Who knows? You guys can let me know your opinions on what you think. But anyway, I wish you a wonderful weekend, and I'll see you again on Monday. I love you like mad. Bye for now.